Hello there and welcome to Linux as to. Recently I was talking to some of you guys and uh, some of them said that uh, they are into computer programming. I mean they express that they are the coders. So I thought let's make a video about that topic. Anyone who is indulges in the computer programming or coding kind of stuff then they probably have heard about APIs and uh, they probably have used the APIs. So for example at the linuxas2.com we have the API for example if i go to linuxs2.com slash bp slash json slash bp and here is the url if i hit to this url so this is the api url this will output some kind of gibberish here so this is the json format basically and it is outputting the post from the website so this is not very much readable so what i can do i can simply copy this url from here and i can go to in to something known as postman so postman is a tool is it's it's very good tool and it's free basically and uh, it's uh, used for testing an api so if i want to test the api i can simply open a new tab here and paste that url and uh, hit the hit for the request so this will fetch all the data that was sent from the linuxs2.com website and it will output you here so you can see so this is the json format the date of the post the title of the post basically the link and the complete post here basically so this is the data so it's very good for api testing and knowing how the api is actually working so in this video we will learn how we can set this tool in a linux desktop environment so for this i'm going to open my virtual machine again because i have already set this tool in the main operating system here so i'm going to open ubuntu so this is going to be a virtual machine basically so you can get this tool from its official website so in the browser just type postman and you will get its official website here so this is postman.com and here you can simply go to this download page here using this download button and uh, you can download for linux so here you can click on this download button again and you will get linux 32 bit and 64 bit just click on 64 bit because almost all of us use a 64 bit system click save the file and hit ok this will take some time so the downloading is done now i can simply open the folder i can close this browser from here so here is the downloaded file so i can simply extract this file here so i'm going to click extract here and uh, this will extract the file I'm going into the folder so this is the postman here so I will simply open up a terminal here and I will try to execute this file so this is postman I will hit enter and this will basically start the postman so here you you can create an account if you want and if you do not want then you can simply click here and uh, this is skip signing and take me to the straight page so here you will get this window and here you can even enable the dark theme mode here and uh, you can start using this tool so for example if you want to query any url you can simply get an url and paste it here basically so i'm going to get the url from the from here and i'm going to into the okay so it's working so i'm going to hit send button here and this will basically query the data from the website so here is the tool up and running in the linux so this way you can install this tool in the system so that was the video on how you can get the postman and install it in your system and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux